assalamu alaikum guys today we are going to see about nerve supply of bladder it is important for your anatomy physiology as well as for your medicine posting when you take a case for cns first we will draw a diagram of bladder here this is bladder this is urethra these are internal sphincters sphincters are nothing but collection of muscles these are external sphincters this is ureters it opens at an angle to prevent reflux of urine this bladder consists of detrusor muscle that are smooth muscles and uh, these internal sphincters are also made up of smooth muscle and this external sphincter it is made up of striated muscles now for the nerve supply we have to remember three things first it has sympathetic parasympathetic and a somatic nerve supply we will write it with red parasympathetic it comes from s2 s3 and s4 segment then sympathetic it comes from t11 to l2 and somatic somatic that is under voluntary control it also comes from s2 s3 and s4 now this parasympathetic it helps in passage of urine the sympathetic it helps in storage of urine we can remember it this parasympathetic has p the passage of urine has p this sympathetic has s and storage of urine has s now for passage of urine this parasympathetic muscle uh, parasympathetic nerve supply it stimulates the detrusor muscles and it inhibit this internal sphincter now the sympathetic we will show it with a green color it inhibit this detrusor muscle and stimulate this internal sphincter what happens when uh, sphincters are stimulated the work of the sphincter are to close close this opening so when sympathetic stimulation is there this internal sphincter get contracted and does not allow the passage of urine and helps in storage of urine and this somatic somatic nerve supply it comes from pudendal nerve this pudendal nerve it stimulate this external sphincter it is under voluntary control and it does not allow the passage of urine this is spinal cord suppose this is our bladder internal sphincter external sphincter t11 t12 
L1, L2. From here comes the sympathetic nerve supply, then S2, S3, S4. From here comes the parasympathetic nerve supply. It comes here and it forms a ganglia here that is called as inferior mesenteric ganglia. And then it supplies the bladder and the internal sphincter. This inhibits the detrusor muscle and stimulates the internal sphincter. This parasympathetic it uh, uh, gives a pelvic nerve and it inhibits, uh, sorry, stimulates the detrusor muscle. Now, pudendal nerve also arises from here, S2, S3 and S4 and it stimulates the external sphincter. Now, when the bladder is filled with a small amount of urine, uh, uh, low intensity impulses or slow impulses will go from the spinal cord up to the CNS. Uh, and the higher center which is situated above uh, the center for the bladder is situated in the pons and still above there lies the cortex which control the pons bladder uh, pons contains the center for maturation as well as for the storage of urine so the impulse is generated from small amount of urine present small amount of urine present in the bladder it will go in the uh, from the spinal cord into the pons and then in the cortex then from the cortex the pons uh, storage center will be stimulated and this will this will stimulate the sympathetic nervous system for storage of more urine and it will inhibit the parasympathetic and it will stimulate the pudendal nerve <coughs> now when the bladder is full when the bladder is full or it is having urine of amount 400 ml the impulses will go from the spinal cord to the pons and the cortex then in the pons the center of micturation is stimulated and it will stimulate here it will go into the pons then in the cortex from the cortex it will stimulate the micturation center of the pons and then it will stimulate the parasympathetic mm, parasympathetic nervous system and this will allow the passage of urine and it will also inhibit the sympathetic nervous system so will stimulate the parasympathetic inhibit sympathetic as well as the put in the nerve the urine will pass when there is appropriate social situation now we will see what happens in umn an element type of lesion to the bladder this is bladder from here sensation will go to the spinal cord and the motor command will come from the spinal cord to the bladder for maturation but this is under the control of brain higher center excuse me for my drawing it it will have inhibitory control over the micturation, ref uh, micturation reflexes. So whenever there is inappropriate so social situation, uh, this higher center will inhibit the micturation or voiding of the urine. When there is UMN type of lesion, this control of the higher center is lost and the Uh, 
when there is human type of lesion the control from the higher central is lost so the whenever there is even small amount of urine in the bladder then uh, the person will start micturating even if it is inappropriate social uh, place or situation so there occurs spasticity of the bladder and there will be incontinence of the urine and the urine will pass automatically therefore it is called as automatic bladder now in lower motor neuron lesion that is lesion is below the level of anterior horn cell or at the level of anterior horn cell and in umn it is above the level of anterior horn cell so this local reflex will also be lost so the sensation of bladder fullness will not be felt by the person so the bladder will become full even after that the patient will not uh, even when the bladder is full here uh, the patient will not get the sensation so when the bladder become full with urine there will occur dribbling of the urine there occurs overflow incontinence in this what occur when bladder is filled with urine uh, the sensation are not felt by the spine uh, not felt by the person so the bladder become full and when it become full it start dribbling so there occur overflow incontinence and after that uh, there occurs atonicity flaccid there uh, the bladder become flaccid and it is called as autonomous bladder now we will see about motor motor atonic bladder and sensory atonic bladder in this motor atonic this means the efferent route will be affected this happens in the polio the bladder will not be able to contract so what we will do we will apply the foley's catheter here we know in poliomyelitis the anterior horn cells are affected we have seen this in our previous video then in the sensory sensory atonic bladder the sensations of the uh, sensation going from the bladder to the spinal cord are lost this happens in tabs store cells and this uh, the person does not get the sensations of filling of bladder as a result the bladder continues to fill with urine and after that there occurs overflow incontinence now this was about all about the nerve supply of the bladder and its related condition if you like my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video